All right, in this video, I'll be giving my impressions on Disney's Aladdin and Disney's The Lion King for the Nintendo Switch. All right, so before we get started, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. And I don't stream on Sunday anymore, sadly. Um, I'll be playing. I'll be playing The Last of Us. I'll be playing Spider-Man, maybe trying to get those trophies going, and lots of other PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC. Uh, Nintendo Switch, obviously, and all types of games. So check me out in the link in the description. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't. Hit the subscribe button and turn bell notification on so you get notified when I upload new videos. And look out for uh, products in my videos down in the description with that Amazon link that'll give a little kickback to the channel. Alright, so Aladdin and Lion King. So let's start with Aladdin. I've never actually played this. So let's see what we can get into. And so you can see it's got the border around it and it's pretty much just emulating the old game, which I believe this is the Genesis one, right? Cause it had a sword, not the Super Nintendo one cause that one didn't have a sword for some reason. So people will definitely see this as more of the um, definitive edition or, you know, the real copy of Aladdin. And I've heard these are fairly difficult games. Um, I've never really played them, or at least I don't remember playing them. But um, they're definitely kind of fun to play. And you collect apples, and it looks like you fight. So, you know, it's just an emulated game. And you got all that copyright and music, which I'm probably going to get. Uh, copyrighted for, but I don't really care. I just thought it would be cool to make a video on this. And so they got little puzzles. And so they got little puzzles like you just saw where I had to jump over that before it fell. And you gotta collect these apples. I don't know if you get a extra points for the apples or what. Controls are not great on here. And they're probably just mapped to how they were on um the Genesis, so probably not the port's fault. But so that's Aladdin. It's actually per fairly simple game. You're just running around, hitting people, throwing some apples, collecting some genies. And it looks like I can climb that up. No, no. Nope. and dodge some swords and kill some people. Oh, and you got a rewind feature, which is really nice. That's awesome. All right, so that was Aladdin. Let's see if we can't go back to the main screen. Quit and don't save because I'll play this at some point. So this is the console S version. I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure this is the Genesis version. And then you got the Final Cut version. Oh, and you have the demo version. Yeah, there's different versions. Japanese version. And I believe I thought there was one for the Game Boy, but I don't know where that is. And so you also got the museum, which has a bunch of, you know, behind the scenes type of animation stuff, artwork, and movie art. Trying to show off some of the nice features of Disney and their games and their movies. And the soundtrack, which you can listen to pretty much everything that was in the game. And, but just on your own time and be able to shuffle the I'll shuffle it in case you want to use the switch as kind of like an iPod. I don't know if anyone that would actually want to do that, but well, apparently a lot of people like doing that. So you got the similar thing. You got the museum. Oops. We so got the museum. You got the soundtrack. Same thing, just for Lion King rather than um for Aladdin. So you got the console N version, console S version, Japanese version, and that's it.
So I believe this is the Nintendo version and this is the Sega version. I think that's what the S stands for and the N stands for. So let's play a little bit through this and you got the same features. It's still emulated, you got the little border and I think you can ch change the border to be something that you guys like. And so. It starts. I don't know which one's better. Let me know down in the comments if you know which one you guys like what people think is the best version of the Lion King, if there is one. Um, or I know that this game is hard. This is a notorious game for being, you know, difficult, but because of the platforming on this, I like that it sounds like a cat. Oh yeah, the platforming is hard and I died. Oh, look at that. So there's the dying one. You can rewind. Very, how, how far can you rewind? You can do it pretty far. That's pretty cool. Nope, rewind. Yeah, so you can get out of that real quick. Which is really cool. Because I definitely suck at this. So, see, I just died. I don't think I could have played this on the actual systems. Because I think I died too much. That's pretty funny. So I might um, stream this at some point, trying to beat this game, because I think it'd be funny. And it looks like the dumb beetles, like, gas you out, which is kind of funny. And so... It's definitely very sensitive, and you get that input. I don't think it's input delay, I think it's just... You can't do two things at once, which I'm used to with the newer games, where you move the, the person and you jump at the same time. And you can't really, you can do that, but sometimes it just doesn't like it. So that's interesting. And so I got out of the way. So that's the Lion King. You can pause it, you can go to the menu, you can re go, you know, start the game again. And then he got rewind. So. so let's look at these settings real quick. So you got game settings, you got save, you got load, you got reset, you got screen options. So you got sharp, sharp screen, full screen, stretch screen. I think sharp looks probably the best. No filter, TV filter, monitor filter, uh, LCD filter, not. Border on or off. So I guess you can't change the border. And then the controls. Ah, which you can set to whatever you want. That's really cool. You can set them back to default, which I'm going to do. But you can remap the controls. That's really cool. You don't see that a lot where you can remap the controls of a game. So. Alright. Let's get out of there. All right, so let me know what you think about the Lion King and Aladdin um, classic games being put on the Nintendo Switch down in the, the comments, and let me know if you guys are picking it up or not. Uh, before we go, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m., and not on Sunday anymore, sadly, but I'll be playing The Last of Us, Spider-Man, a lot of PS4 games, Xbox One, uh, Switch, PC, all types of games. We can talk about collections if you guys want to come around and uh, we can chat about my collection, your collection, um, maybe wants in your collection, and if anything you want me to review for the, the channel coming up or already released. Um, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and turn bell notification on so you get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.